Hello, this is Tic Tac, and today we will be learning how to land on ILS in a Boeing 737. So, what we need to do to find the ILS frequency and the heading is uh, go to the flight planner. We choose our departure location. For me, it will be London City, and our destination, and I have chosen London Heathrow. Then we press Find Routes. And here we've got the red line showing our route from London City to London Heathrow. And then if we want to get the ILS frequency and the heading, we need to guess our runway. For me it will be uh, 27R. We press on this green arrow which is the ILS. And we have the ILS information. So. The frequency is 110.3 MHz and then the heading is 273. We can print this or we can write it down somewhere. And now we can do the landing. Hello, now I'm back in our Boeing 737 which has just taken off from London City Airport. We're going to be landing in Heathrow which is right in front of us. And um, we need to uh, get ready for the approach. So first I'll reduce the speed to 145 knots. Lower the flaps as well. So we have a bit of more time when we do this. And now, so what we need to do first to do the ILS approach and landing is we need to um, go on procedures select approach and we want the ILS for runway 27R for us it might be different for you if you're using another airport it's just the runway you're using then we want vectors and we want to activate then we want this to turn this off there's this line to our runway next what we need to do is press shift 2 to, to um, put the radios here and then we put the frequency for our runway which is 110.3 megahertz so we put this in the standby uh, frequency then we switch it over to our active frequency then we can press shift 2 to turn this off and then we then we have to set up our autopilot so we need our speed need this to nav now so it's on uh, the ILS and then we need VOR lock on and then altitude hold and uh, command A as well and then this should start lining us up with the runway the pink line and we can see here we've got two diamonds this is the uh, diamond where the runway is us and this is our height when we're descending so where we need to go so when this diamond starts going down to this white line you need to press the ADP button and um, should be getting down soon so then I'll we'll just put the speed up a bit so it's a bit quicker I'll put the speed up slightly. Maybe let's go 210. We can see the runway over there. We're starting to line up now. See on the GPS the line. Here. We clear down, we can arm our speed brakes by pressing shift and then the line on the uh, question mark slash and we can decrease our speed now because the diamond's coming down. 145 Snaps up. And now we can see down here, the line's coming down, the 
diamonds coming down to the line. When it reaches the line, we press the AGT button, and that should start our reset. Then we need to change our auto brake to turn it on, so it stops when landing. And our plane should start descending now towards the runway, and the diamond should stay around the line. Now we just need to wait till it gets lower. Diamond still here. We need to check if we're lined up with the runway correctly or if something wrong happened. Then you must, you might need to check everything out if it's correct. We can see we're lined up very well with the runway, right in the middle of it. When we get close to the runway and our speed is stable and the autopilot isn't changing much anymore, we will turn the auto photo off so then we don't have to do that when we touch down on the runway. So I'll do it in a few seconds when it gets a bit lower. And then after we disable uh, speed, then we need to disable the command A, so the autopilot's master switch. So we need to make sure we've got flaps on full when we do this. So we'll turn off speed hold now. It should stay good if we don't change anything. And then we, when we get really close to the runway, we disable CMBA button. So we're about 200 and we'll probably get around 100 so 100 disable and up and we planned it so now we just put reverse thrust and then auto brake should start working spoilers on and we've landed in the middle of the runway so I hope you enjoyed today's FSX video, if you did, click the like button and subscribe for more videos, see you next time.